get that extra range and like I mean I feel like against Palu that's important just yeah. because like you do outrange Palu as Marth and like the max range where you just you can outrange is the tipper. Yeah. So you want to be basically spacing at max range anyway against a character like Palu so makes sense that uh, Marth would be the pick. Or maybe he just you know wants to have fun with a little bit of a uh, just Marth. A little, yeah, you know, just a little bit of tipper up smash you know killing that 20. Not bad. So far, we have like a pretty even game, though. To be honest. Yeah, uh, I it's, mean, it's it's that, really been just back and forth. None of the uh, spacing that we were talking about earlier has been going on. Yeah, they seem to be pretty eager to just go in. <laughs> yeah, exactly. To end neutral. Um, yeah. Uh, maybe that. I feel like a lot of the aggression is just storm right now, and then it's just like Max Ketchum getting the counter hit or not. Ooh. Shield on the second dash attack. Wow. Goes for the upbeat. Kana gets punished for it, not necessarily by a death, but he's at 135. That's gonna do it. He actually Storm, you know, sets his hands at his lap for a second, you know. Definitely this is a would be a big win for him. You know, Max might not necessarily be known as a player. He is one of, you know, oh, oh nice. And you know, even though the game is even, feels like Storm's losing. Yeah. It, does, it doesn't even necessarily feel like Max Ketchum's winning. It just feels like Storm's losing after you get shield broken. It's you know just, what I mean? It's just that momentum that you get from like, oh getting my. shield broken. And look at that. 40? Already 48% yeah. with a, what was honestly a pretty slick combo from Max Ketchum. And already 68. He managed to miss the, the you know, the, the perfect explosive. percent. Oh. I thought you were talking about the explosive clip. Oh, no. I'm talking about the uh, the 69. He managed to keep him from getting to 69. Calculated. Micro. Micro. Micro management. Micro management. So far, like, Max is not let Swarm in right now. Actually, not even. He's just going off right now with these ledge traps. And, you know, that's that's what Mars does. He just ledge traps, walls, like, option selects. Nice wait there with the shield breaker. Ooh. I don't know what that was for. Maybe he wanted to jump. Whoa, I love that. Patience and wait. Hopping in front of his face and then going in for a dash attack at just the right time. Oh, and now this is huge. I don't know if he has a jump. He doesn't, but he doesn't need it. And in the end, gets a roll read. Storm nice. looking really good right now. Yeah, he's at 121%. But he can definitely, like, one good grab is, what, 40% at this point? Yeah, one, one like, neutral one is going to be huge damage. Oh, no. Oh, no, the whiff. All right, another shield breaker. I like, I like the shield breaker checks. They're really good. And, oh, and like, oh, this could be huge. Nair train. Okay. Right, Thirty-two um, percent. Um, a bit of much less than Palu could have done, especially with rage. Yeah. But nonetheless, extra credit is extra credit. And even though Storm's doing pretty well right now, I think he's gonna need every bit of leverage moving into the last stop. Yeah. Uh, Max Ketchum's a super good player, super good at adapting, and we've seen his spacing has been on point. I'm so not gonna take it. Uh, it might with like a couple more percent tacked onto it. Cause that thing can get stale pretty quickly, or if he has a little bit of rage. Right now with the way, oh, that might be it. Yeah. yeah with the way uh, like Storm was playing, he wasn't really allowing Max to get that much off of his hits like he was last stop. Which, which is big, gets a back throw, nice. down throw to back air. Missing, oh. the, missing the two frame with the down tilt. All right. Catch him with the auto article. Okay, this is huge. If Max can get a lot of damage. Earlier we saw him get 42% off of a single grab, but now I guess he you know, has to play a little bit more careful. You know? yeah. I mean, if like, gets, the situation gets turned around, I mean, he could just die. I mean, like, keep in mind, he does have tippers. He can do this. Oh, he can get another absolutely. shield break. Oh my god. Like, just one good read with a tipper. Or, like, something to convert into it. he doesn't need to do that. All he needs... Oh. Uh, uh, uh. Explos uh, Explosive uh, Flame is such a good, like, move to check people with. Explosive Flame is such a good move? Yes. <laughs> it's so good, like... I don't know. You know, just like, it's zero risk. Let, me, let me do a lot. Trying to pull up bracket right now. Please. Where is the... There it is, okay. Um... Okay, so we're gonna see the Lucina switch. Um... I think this is good. 
you know, Max didn't really like he didn't really do the spacing game like we assumed. And Three, two, it was <laughs> like even when he was nickeling nickeling and diming storm, he wasn't getting necessarily too many tippers. So I think the swap to Lucina is definitely justified. Alright. 33 off of like one back air. Ooh. And now we're gonna see, especially with Lucina, it can be a lot easier to edge trap. Oh, supposed to flame ladder. Oh my god. I'm really liking Max's movement though. Look at the way that he's just like weaving in and out of these platforms, just slowly but thoroughly, like basically trying to find his perfect placement during these juggles. Yeah. No, but <laughs> the perfect place is not a pat in the you know in the middle of a pally back air. And with that storm is now on the ground. Ooh, not for too long though. Max doing a much better job this time around of, you know, we'll get a hit and it's not as nickel it's not as back and forth as we saw before. Right Forward there. Air killing. What? <laughs> yeah, it's for it's listening to Ford air. Did you forget? Have I you main this character. I know. How have you forgotten? Who's gonna forward you, you don't get hit by it. That's why you underestimate. I mean, I mean he was at like 120 or like yeah. 130. Blake still. Okay, uh, that trade is gonna work out for Storm as finally gets a little bit of stage control. But Max's movement on these platforms is so good. He like Storm is not able to lock him down, even though Palutena has these amazing hitboxes above and like to the side of her. He hasn't oh. really been able Oh, he has no jump. Catch. Uh, uh, I feel like um uh, uh I'll leave after this game. Uh I feel like Oh my god! I feel like that punish with F Smash. If he either A did it earlier or B just like used a different move, he would have been able to get it, but like even still, he was able to both dodge the edge guard and get the stock. Oh we're gonna neutral be into the explosive flame. Okay. Oh, I don't know if you wanted that explosive flame though. And, and it, making mistakes when you're down by this much. And yes, he did win game one, he has another game to work with, but you do not want to give Max catch up, you know. Can we free can we, reign into game three? You can know? we talk about how Max just like ran under explosive flame? I mean, Lucina, you know, it's the anime run. It, yeah. You know that if the closer to the ground you are, the faster you're more aerodynamic. The, fa <laughs> <laughs> the faster you run. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I like I like these edge guards Max going for. It. Max is I don't know. Max is going for. It. I don't know how to English. Uh, and now all of a sudden he's going for a lot of these uppies. I mean, I mean, I, like, I don't necessarily think it's a bad idea. But oh, it's a peculiar thing to just start throwing out when you're up by this much in game two. Ooh. Storm's gonna need to uh, like make, start to make start to make some plays right now. Cause he's at you know 140 and Max is still only at 70. I'm trying to two frame with him there. All right, um, another forward throw, just slowly racking up percent. I feel like I feel like both players are starting to respect each other more, but at the, that up air, I'm gonna take it. Such and a sneaky up air too. Yeah. Like that was the perfect space to turn attack to land that. And that means that Max Ketchup wins game two. We're moving on to a game three here. And game one was very back and forth. Game two very much in Max's favor. Oh yeah. So it's curious as to whether that was adaptation that's going to carry on into it. this game three, or whether perhaps there was stage counter pick. You saw the way that Max was using those platforms and helped him out a ton. I honestly think it was the Lucina counter pick, because he was just able to get so much more off of his hits, and then just create a lot of momentum. Because, like, with Lucina, um, if you get, like, like, if you get your normal hits, that's okay, but, like, if you get your Sour Spot hits with Marth, like, you don't gain as much stage control. And, like, you're not able to, like, convert that stage control into pressure. Anyways, I gotta go. Bye-bye. Three, two, one, go! All right, this is game... Game three here. And, uh, oh, I should also mention, I, Max Ketchum does not often come out to these events, so it's really cool to see him here. And, you know, <laughs> I think it's just so cool that... 
New York, in general, is just such a stacked region that even though people really know the name Max Ketchum, they probably don't know the name Storm, and Storm has brought him to this game three. Let's see, he was going to actually close it out, though. 41%! Oh my god, that down air was almost the end of it all. But now Max does have stage control. Let's see how much he can do with it. A nice neutral air. But uh, his hits are a little less... Really, they, they're not gaining as much total advantage as in that last game. I think the Sage counter pick really working out well for Storm without those platforms. Oh, right as I say that, there was a pretty slick platform moving from Max in the middle right there. Good job getting out of the corner. But rolling out of the corner is pretty risky if you do it too much. Again, he rolls out of the corner if, if uh... Storm is maybe paying attention. That might be like the critical moment. One solid roll weave with a forward smash or up smash. Oh man, I don't think he wanted to up be on stage. Neutral air doesn't finish off the stock. That air dodge so good actually gets him back to the ledge, but he has been stuck in this corner. Maybe he should find a roll out of the corner for himself. I like the explosive punch to try and hold him back. No jump, but makes it back to stage regardless. <laughs> 145% on Storm. Wow, he goes for that down smash. The idea was so good, but up tilt's range was just enough that he, uh, Max steals the stock instead. All right, so Storm had a really unfortunate SD uh, in the middle of that. Sorry, I was uh, temporarily indisposed. But uh, he is now on his last stock, manages to take it, but he has to make this two stock comeback, and he's already at 60. And Lucina is not a character that it's easy to stay alive against. And the way that Max has been playing, where now if he just wants to nickel and dime, then the corner just gets more and more percent. Eventually, neutral air forward airs are going to start killing. And if you have to avoid every single forward air or neutral air that a Lucina throws out, especially Lucina of Max's caliber, that might just be too much for Storm. Look at this, he's not even, oh, he's not even getting comeback range. He's taken way more damage since he respawned. Dash attack was, but you know, it's that overzealous option. He really just wants to get the hit in. And Max is starting to recognize this, realizing that this, you know, his opponent maybe has just a little, just less seasons under his belt playing this game. And his mentality right now, Stuck in the corner, finally gets out with that aggressive dash attack and a back air to boot. Let's see if he can actually close out this stock though. No, now he's at 146 on the ledge once again and then neutral air connects. That's going to be a 2 1 victory for Max Ketchum. That Lucina counter pick from game 2, carrying all the way to game 3. Really great call on.